All right, let's move into verse 18 of 1 Corinthians chapter 7. Paul is still responding to the questions that was sent to him from Corinth. Verse 18, is any man called being circumcised? Let him not become uncircumcised. He said, if you came to salvation and you were not circumcised, or you were circumcised, he said, leave that part alone. Is any called uncircumcised? He said, did I save you and you were not circumcised? Let him not be circumcised. He said, I'm answering that question. Now, don't come in here thinking that a man has to be circumcised in order to be saved. Or if a man decides I was circumcised and I want to go back and have the doctor uh, correct that circumcision, he said, no. He said, if you were called in that condition, stay in that condition. Circumcision is nothing and uncircumcision is nothing. But they keep but the but the keeping of the commandments of God. He was just saying that one time that was they had to do that. They had to be circumcised. He said, So let every man abide in the same calling the day that you got saved, wherein he came in or he was called. Because salvation is a calling. And we answer the calling by responding to God through his word. Are you called being a servant? He said, were you working under somebody? Care not for it? He said, don't worry about that. But if you may be made free, use it rather. He said, if you were working under somebody when you were called to salvation, he said, continue in there. Don't, don't, don't look at it like I got to walk away from everything. He said, don't do that. But he that is called in the Lord, being a servant, is the Lord's free man. In other words, you are set free even if you had to work as a slave under somebody. And that means you got a job or you're paying off a bill. You don't lose all of your uh, bills. I mean, you still got debt. He said, if you got saved and you got debt, you still got to make sure that you pay those debt. He said, because once you come to God, you're going to be a servant anyway. Likewise, also, he that is called being free is Christ's servant. So you're going to work for somebody. So he said, if you were working, just because you got saved don't mean that you drop everything and run after me. He said, no, you still got to live life according to what you owe. All right, let's move to the... This side, let's see if I can see this part. He said, you were purchased. You were bought with a price. Be not ye the servant of men. He said, once you get, this is God's way. If you made bills before you came to him, he said, pay those bills off because that's a part of being a servant of the Lord. He said, do not be servants of men. That's one thing I don't want you to do. I don't want anybody controlling you but the word of God. Brethren, let every man where he is called with your assignment is therein abide with God. Do it the way God would have you to do it. Do it excellent. Do it over or don't do it. <laughs> Whatever God says concerning that. Now he said, I'm getting ready to talk about something. Something that's now concerning virgins. I have no commandment of the Lord. He said, I don't have a word from the Lord, yet I give my advice, my judgment, as one that has obtained mercy of the Lord to be faithful. He said, I'm, I'm coming as a man that understands God, and I believe that what I'm saying is good advice. I suppose, therefore, that this is good. For the present distress, I say, in this present time you're going through, that it's good for a man so to be. I think this is what a man ought to act like. Are you bound to a wife? Are you married? He said, don't seek to be loose. Are you loosed? Are you not married from a wife? Seek not a wife. Now, some version says 
this is saying if you are married, stay married. If you're not married, uh, you don't want to be married. Then could it be saying that if I'm if I'm married, then I am uh, I am uh, we'll just let the word say what it says. Are you bound unto a wife? Do you have a wife? Don't try to get rid of her. Are you loose from a wife? Seek not a wife. So Paul is really stressing the fact that he's coming from a different place in life for many of us. He's just saying stay single because I know the problem that married folk have. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. But, and if you marry, he said, but if you decide to get married, you have not sinned. There's nothing wrong with it. And if you are a virgin, and if a virgin, if you're not married, she has not sinned. It's okay to be single. It is okay to be single. Nevertheless, such shall have trouble in the flesh. But I spare you. All right, what is he saying right here? Look at this again. But if but and if you do marry, you have not sinned. And if a virgin marries, she has not sinned. Nevertheless, such shall have trouble in the flesh. And he said, and I, you know, I spare you. Because he said getting married is going to be a trip. He said, but uh, I'm just letting you know how I feel about it. I, I don't know if he's saying I feel sorry for you. <laughs> he said, but, you know, it is allowed. But this I say, brethren, and this is what he's saying here. But this I say, people, brethren means man and woman. The time is short. It remains that both they that have wives be as though they that had none. So the God is saying those that are not married got to be uh, led by me. And those that are married uh, got to be led by me. And they that weep as though they wept not. In other words, if you cry, you got to play. You got to play by God's rules. If you don't cry, if they that rejoice as those as though they rejoice not. So it's, it's whatever condition you're in, single or married, and they that buy as though as, as though they possess not. In other words, God has said nobody's going to have an easy way out. You got to follow my instruction. If you got things, you got to follow my instruction. If you don't. And they that use this world, and they that use this world, as not abusing it. You gotta live by the rules. For the fashion of this world will pass away. So there are uh, rules for life. He said, but one day the rules for life are not going to be so. Marriage won't be so. Single won't be so. He said, but as long as you're in this earth, you got to follow instruction in God's way if you are married. And then you got to follow instruction if you are single. 